Aloha. This week's tip is showing you how to add holidays to your calendar. So if we want all the U.S. holidays to show up on the calendar on our Mac and on our iPad and iPhone, we can add it using the Mac and adding it to the iCloud. So as you can see right now, uh, for this month of April, I show no holidays, but I can um, add those. So we're going to go ahead and go into Safari and find a holiday calendar. So the program we're using is uh, iCal and then we're looking for a calendar and US holidays. And as we start typing you can see it, it brings up in our search the um, holiday calendars. I'm going to grab this one right here Apple provides a holiday calendar that we can download and now we're going to just subscribe to it so now as the holidays show up they just show up on our calendar so I'm going to say subscribe uh, this is the one area that you need to look at it lets you name this calendar anything you'd like we're just going to leave the default US holidays but for location you have a choice of on your Mac or on the iCloud. If you pick on the Mac, then your holiday calendar is only when you're looking at your Mac. If you pick iCloud, you'll have it both on your Mac and iPhone and possibly iPad if you use iPad also. So uh, iCloud's the best bet. You're going to have it show up on all your devices because you're saving it to the iCloud. And as long as you're syncing to the iCloud, then everything will show up um, on all the devices. So we can see here that we did add the U.S. holidays and they, you know, tax day, Earth Day, they're April Fools, they're showing all the holidays. If you wanted to, you could um, go into a, a day view and actually if we turn off the other calendars, then we'd only see the one calendar that we subscribe to and that's the U.S. holidays and then it lists all of our holidays. As we add more calendars by just clicking on the button, you can see we have more events that starts to fill up the holidays or the fill up the calendar. So there's a quick easy way to add another calendar to your already existing calendars and if you add it to iCloud, it'll show up on iPhone and iPad. That's it.